Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. I am Dr. V. Jayakma. I make lecture videos for the benefit of mechanical engineering students. If you are watching this channel for the first time or if you have not yet subscribed to this channel yet, please press the subscribe button and also the notification bell icon so that you get notification every time when I post a brand new video. In this video, we will be solving numerical problems on determination of transmission angles for a given four bar mechanism. Let's get started. Before we proceed, let us do a quick recap. In our previous video, we have presented the concept of mechanical advantage and transmission angle. In a four bar mechanism, the angle between fixed link and the crank is known as crank angle theta. Angle made by the crank and the coupler is known as beta. And finally, the angle made by the coupler and the driven link or rocker or lever or follower is known as transmission angle gamma. When lengths of all four links are given, we should be able to determine minimum and maximum transmission angles. When theta equal to zero degree, we could say the transmission angle is minimum. On the contrary, when theta is equal to 180 degree, the transmission angle will be maximum. These are the two positions that we are going to use it while solving the problem. Okay. Now we also should know the two interesting positions, namely toggle positions in a four bar mechanism. When the angle beta is zero degree, angle between link two and link three is zero degree, we obtain toggle position one. When angle between crank and the coupler is 180 degree, that results into toggle position number two. We know that a toggle positions mechanical advantage is infinite. So minimum and maximum transmission angle positions and two toggle positions. So four positions of four bar mechanisms we must remember in order to solve numerical problems on them. First, let us take the first problem. Find the maximum and minimum transmission angles for the mechanism shown. The figure indicate the dimension in standard units of length. Here, number one, three, two are units. They are representing the length of those links given data. Lengths of the four links are given. We need to find minimum and maximum transmission angle. Now let us go to the solution. So this problem can be attacked by two methods, analytical method and graphical method. First, let us solve this problem by analytical method to find minimum transmission angle by analytical method. We have understood from the theory that the transmission angle will be minimum when the crank angle is zero degree. So this is the concept. So what can I do? Let me draw roughly here. In terms of lengths, the total length is three units. This length is one unit. Therefore, this will be two units. Coupler is three units, output link two units. We are supposed to determine this answer, gamma minimum. Can you tell me when we have a triangle, I know lengths of all three sides of a triangle and I need to determine this angle. So what is the law used? We can very well use law of cosines. So there you are. I am going to apply that formula here. 
2 square is equal to 3 square plus another side 2 square minus 2 into 3 into 2 cos of minimum. So on simplification we get 41.4 degree. Now we can find maximum transmission angle by analytical method. We know that transmission angle will be maximum when the crank angle is at 180 degree. So this is the concept. Now I could very well draw an equivalent diagram for this. What is this the entire side? 3 plus 1, 4 units. Now I know three sides of the triangle and I need to find one included angle of that triangle. What is the law to be used? Exactly, law of cosines. Again, by applying law of cosines, we get, so I need alpha maximum. So opposite side, I have to start. 4 square is equal to 3 square plus 2 square minus this multiplied by cosine of that angle. On simplification, I am getting the value of alpha max as 104.5 degree. This is the answer. We can solve the same problem by another method, which is nothing but graphical method. So let us first find the minimum transmission angle. So we know for minimum transmission angle, this is the position of the four links. So now using the links, we can draw geometrical construction to some suitable scale. So here we can take one centimeter is equal to say one unit or half unit of length. I have drawn the frame to some suitable scale. Now I have drawn crank AB. Now I need to find intersection point C. So by using the lengths of BC and CD, I can cut an arc. The intersection point will be that point C. I need to measure this transmission angle. This is my answer. By measuring the angle between the output link CD and the coupler BC, I am getting here 41 degree. If you remember the answer that we have obtained by analytical method is 41.4 degree. The same way, we can determine maximum transmission angle by graphical method. So this is the underlining concept. When theta is equal to 180 degree, we get this. So let me use some suitable scale. Taking B as a center, three units as a radius, I am drawing an arc. Taking D as a center, two units as a radius, I am drawing an arc. The intersection point is C. Now I need to measure this, which will give us the bracket data maximum transmission angle. There you are, by measurement we get maximum transmission angle as 105 degree. If you remember, we have obtained about 104.5 degree as the answer in case of analytical method. So we have solved this problem by both 
analytical and graphical method right now shall we solve the problem number two for the given mechanism shown below we have taken the same mechanism locate the two toggle positions and also find the corresponding transmission angles the figure indicates the dimensions in standard units so what we need to find is first we have to draw two toggle position then we need to find transmission angle for toggle position one and for toggle position two so from our theory we know that we will have toggle position when the angle made by the input crank and the coupler is zero degree or when beta is equal to zero degree we will be getting this position so this is the toggle position one even this problem also can be solved by both analytical and graphical method but i am doing it now by analytical method okay first let me draw the toggle position one i am not drawn to the scale because i am doing analytical method total 3 minus crank length so this will be having two units length we need to determine this angle is the transmission angle for toggle position one by applying law of cosines we get answer like this so on simplification i am getting 97.180 degree as my answer now i can find transmission angle for toggle position 2 let me draw the conceptual diagram I need to determine this value for this toggle position 2. So just by calculating, I am getting this. So that's it. We have learned how to determine transmission angles for two toggle positions. The same problem. Of course, the same problem can also be solved by graphical method. You should be getting the same answer. Okay. I have given you problem for practice so that you can try this problem at your home and check your answer. That's it. Hope you found this lecture video useful. If so, like this video, share it to your friends, subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.